Hello my beautiful friends, welcome back to my channel and if you're new here, hi, I'm Britta. As you can see, I am wearing a t-shirt that has not been ironed and it's actually my PJ t-shirt. I just got out of bed, put some makeup on and decided to film this video. I'm not even wearing pants right now, but yeah, that's my life at the moment. So anyway, let's get into this video. So today I'll be reviewing the Aeronome Urban Air Mask 2.0 and it's this right here. And I just wanted to quickly mention that I bought this mask in October last year because of the pollution here in London. Especially when you use the tubes here, it can get really gross and some of the lines are so highly polluted that at times it's just grey and foggy inside the stations. And I just wanted something to protect myself against that pollution. So I researched some masks and ended up settling for the um, Aeronome Urban Air 2.0 mask and I ordered it online on their website and I think it arrived within a week or so, so it's not too bad. Um, and you can choose from three different colors, black, gray and pink, and there are also different sizes to choose from. And the price of this mask was $69. Um, I'm not sure if they changed the price since then, but it is quite expensive. I got the pearl pink mask in the size S and it comes in a cute box like this. And when you open it up, you have the skin for the mask, a head strap and two valves. And when you lift this up, you also get a pouch and two replaceable filters. I only have one left because I'm already using the other one. It's really easy to put the mask together. You just need to take out the filter and attach the size to the Velcro part of the mask so it sticks properly. And then you just snap on the valves. I like the idea of having a replaceable filter because it's less wasteful than having to get a completely new mask every time. And each of these Aeronum filters also lasts for about 100 hours, which is actually quite good. What I like is that you can choose different colors and different sizes and they also have some fancy collaborations and limited edition masks which can cost up to $250. Let that sink in. It's not worth it in my opinion because at the end of the day the filters are the same but if you want a mask to protect yourself and to make a fashion statement then at least now you have the option. Anyway, the main reason for me was to have a mask with a great filter that protects me from the pollution and that's also comfortable to wear. The color and the design are just an added bonus, but it just wasn't my main criteria. Let's talk about the filter first because that's the most important part. This is an M95 filter that has five different layers and each of them has a different density to filter out different sized particles. And according to their website, their filters have been tried and tested in one of the world's most advanced filter laboratories in Sweden. So you get a high quality and high protection filter, which was exactly what I was looking for. There's also memory foam around the nose area to fit your face better and to reduce air leakage. Now moving on to the design of the mask, it has adjustable ear loops so you can make it fit your face better and there's also a head strap which you can use so the mask is more secure and it also takes some pressure off the ears as well. Especially if you're wearing the mask for a long time it can hurt your ears a little bit so having a head strap is actually quite convenient. So my mask is a size S but I found it a little bit too small for my face and if I want it to fit on my chin then it sits too low on my nose which pinches my nose, which makes it harder for me to breathe. And if I want it to be more comfortable on my nose, then it won't fit properly on my chin. I did use their size chart to measure my face, so I was actually really disappointed that it didn't fit right, especially because this is not a cheap mask and returns are not accepted because it's a hygiene article. Here I have my brother's mask in the size M, which he gave me because he didn't like his, and I'll get into the reason in a bit. But let's first have a look at size M and as you can see it fits a lot better and it's also more comfortable as well. When it comes to breathing it's slightly more difficult because of the filter but I expected that and I don't really have an issue with that. It is a filter with five layers so of course it's going to be a little bit harder to breathe. 
but there's one major flaw that I think should be improved. So my biggest problem I have with this mask is that it gets quite a lot of build up moisture inside and it gets wet especially around the valves when you wear it for a long time. It's pretty normal, it happens with all masks, but with these ones you can see when I breathe in the mask moves and the wet valves end up touching my mouth which is so gross. So I wish the filters were enforced somehow to make it a little bit more stiff so it can hold its shape. And that was the main reason why my brother actually stopped using his mask. Just as a comparison, I've got my Draco mask which is not as pretty but it's more comfortable to wear. And as you can see, the mouth and nose area is more stable and it doesn't move when I breathe. So here are my final thoughts. It is an expensive mask and the design definitely needs some improvement. And if I had to rate it, I would give it a 3 out of 5 stars. I'm taking half a star away because it's a pricey product and I wish um, they would also offer a slightly cheaper option. And I'm deducting another 1.5 stars because of the wet valves issue because it's just disgusting that they're touching my mouth and if I pay that much for a mask I want the design to be well thought out. Other than that it's a great mask that is great for pollution and as far as COVID-19 is concerned wearing a mask can reduce the chances of you getting infected but it also helps to prevent you infecting others. Uh, make sure to do your research. I will put all the links in the description down below so you can go check them out. And that is it for this video. I hope you found it informative. If you liked it, then give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. It would mean so much to me. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye!